and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Levi control. That's right, we're going jeans here with the Levi's. We got Leeson and Vi together. Um, first time playing a Leeson deck. And uh, the, these these were the two last champions that I earned, you know, like with the, you know, with earning the champions throughout the rewards and, and all that kind of stuff and spending wild cards on. So um, this is my first time playing at least in. So it's six mana, three, six. When you cast a spell, give me challenger this round. And when you cast another, give me barrier. So you need to be able to play some some spells, be able to give at least in a challenger and a barrier. It helps out, but the level up should be real easy. All you have to do is cast seven total spells. Uh, that shouldn't be too difficult. And then uh, with the leveled up Lee Sin, whenever you cast a spell, give him Challenger and the Barrier, all that kind of stuff again. But then also Lee Sin, Dragon Rage is the enemy. Which, Dragon Rage is a 7 mana spell. So you get to cast a 7 mana spell for free. Um, not bad. Alright, so we're playing like kind of like the... Uh, the popular Levi control deck that uh, that's out from Mobile Addicts, but we're making two changes. I'm taking out Chumpwump. Um, now Chumpwump gets us Mushroom Clouds, but I don't think that those Mushroom Clouds are that useful. The best thing that Mushroom Cloud does is it gives you some really uh, cheap burst spell speeds for Lee Sin. What we're gonna do instead, though. <clears throat> and I guess it helps you cast two spells in a turn for uh, Eye of the Dragon as well. But still, what I think could be better than the Chump Wumps are Scales of the Dragon. It's all So basically, instead of 4 mana, 4, 3, we get 3 mana, 4, 2. I'd rather spend 1 less mana and get 1 less toughness. Um, so I like that. And then uh, instead of creating the two Mushroom Clouds we create one Dragon's Protection, which I think is a more valuable spell. Granting an ally, that's a permanent buff of plus three toughness. Uh, can make it a lot more difficult to kill a lot of things. And uh, I like that. So I like this permanent buff more than two Mushroom Clouds. So we're going to try out Scales of the Dragon, a new card I haven't played. Uh, besides that, um, we're gonna, besides that, we're going to be trying to cast two spells in a turn. Also, the other good thing about Scales of the Dragon is it is a three, you know, being a three drop instead of a four drop is important because we're playing um retreat so you know retreat can uh bounce it and replay it I'm surprised we only have one retreat in here honestly i feel like we should get more retreats in here but uh it's a pretty good card but yeah we're gonna be trying to cast two spells um all the time and uh trigger our eye of the dragons with the two spells uh, Claws of the dragon also as well as uh deep meditation but, Let's give it a try. Enough talking. Ooh, we need to replace these. Let's get go to the monastery. We'll use Yasuo Sleeve still. And let's go with, we'll go with the Snapper. Playing some Lee Sin for the first time. So we got Darius Draven. All right, we're gonna get rid of Deny and Key Guardian and uh, see what we got going on here. So if Trail of Evidence gets us a spell and not Gets us a spell and not a unit. We'll get these Claws of the Dragons out there. I kind of want them to attack first and not know about that. If that happens. I guess it'd have to be burst speed. Oh, no. That's a bummer. Claws take 
I mean, I could give one of these elusive, but I don't think we really need to. Like, it may be better to wait and give, like, a Vi elusive. Refuge is going to be awesome with Vi, gaining a whole lot of life. Does this tra did transform them into like the one one? Does that work? Will it transform it into the one one? I think so. I hope it's not the one four. I guess I could uh, go with this. No, no, because then they use removal spell on my thing. I really need to do it on that. Okay, it is the three one. Okay, good. All right, well, it worked out. They didn't have removal. It worked out. But basically, I did. I did want to risk it to being a one-four boom crew rookie. That would have been really rough. That's what I was scared of. One girl wrecking crew. Let's make a deal. I don't need a plan. Fight. Um, I took out Chumpwump for Scales of the Dragon. Clear it out. <sighs> I wish I had the mana for Spirit's Refuge and Deny. This works. Yay. Coming to save the day. Nineteen life. <laughs> Both hand must not have been very good, I guess. So we're one and zero. Thanks, Amir. Thank you. Um. Okay, now we're playing against Karina Control. Pretty weak hand. If they have Elise, I'm in trouble.
good. I don't want them to play like Brood Awakening for me to deny, but it may it may be good just to save deny for later. In any case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play this, we're at ten. What I'm just firing a mystic shot at him for two. I guess we'll we'll know what our other two cards are also. I guess I'm burning a card. If they if they just pass back, but if they just pass back, I mean that's still just another turn wasted for them. I guess we're just burning the top card. It's either that or I cast Mystic Shot. The one problem with them with me playing Mystic Shot, then then my like shields are completely down if they want to just play something else. So I kind of feel like just burning this top card. I I have I just drew a whole bunch. We're fine. We can burn we can burn one. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, they're still just passing. I won't stand by. Best thing they can probably do is Brood Awakening, but they haven't been casting a Brood Awakening. Well, what does Vi stand for? I can't figure it out. So yeah, don't, don't want to like attack and then spirits refuge because they would they would break break up my barrier. All these slow spell speeds. <laughs> slow to, slow speed spells. Why do I always say that backwards? All these slow speed spells.
No, they just responded to that. Doing better than them with cards, but with just like raw cards, but I don't don't love the cards we have. Is this gonna work? I have Deny and Spirit's Refuge to protect Vi. That's them dying, right? Zero. How is this zero? Don't they gain three life and then take 12? How does that put them down to zero? Don't they go to 13, then down to 12? Or like then take 12, down to one? Oh, they only gain two. They only gain two. I figured it out. Because of the toughness on Vi, they would only drain two, not drain three. Because of tough. So they only gain two. So they go up two, then down to 12, and then down 12 to zero. Okay, I figured it out. All right. So yeah, I wasn't ready to just click okay, because I wasn't sure that was going to be lethal, because I thought they were gaining one more, even though the I says, you know, I guess the I, you know, the I never lies. But, um, yeah. Hey, Ismail, um... Yes, I think this is Diamond 2. That sounds right. That sounds right. Okay, what are we doing? Burn deck. I wonder if Concussive Palm is too slow to be keeping. Are we are we one and one, not two and zero? Oh? Did I lose the first one? I feel like I lost the first one, but I had it written down as one and zero, oh, and nobody said anything. Yeah, I'm playing Lee. Yep, Leeson and Vi together. Oh, that's right. We gained a whole bunch of life that first game. That's right. That's right. The Spirit's Refuge on the Vi. That was pretty sweet. I don't really have much to do, so it looks like I'm going to play a deep meditation this turn, and, uh... War Mason, reporting for duty. No, we're not really supposed to be casting these Claws of the Dragon. Look what you do. You are the many. 
dragon approaches. But I'm still playing him. If I would have just waited, they would have just played that on the Crimson Disciple again, then I would have been able to Mystic Shot it. Could have maybe, potentially, saved a little bit of life. I wouldn't mind drawing another Spirit's Refuge. If we had to choose something. I think they're going to do zero... <laughs> zero combat damage to us this game, aren't they? They didn't use a spinning axe. Let's make it deep. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. There we go. Alright, draw two. What do we get? Conflict is all in the mind. Hmm. I will not hold back. Alright. <clears throat> that helps that those can block for me. Can block the three twos. I could also just block with the Vi, since I have I have like the other Vi in hand, and have Vi leveled up, and then play new Vi. And I can even bury your new Vi. That seems worth it. It's not worth blocking these. I mean, yeah, they have transfusion that they could do like a damage here and pump these up too. But like, no matter what I block, they could pump the other thing. Or like, yeah, it's spinning axes also. No matter what I block, they just pump up the other one. So it's not like it's, it matters. I can't stop that. This is gonna be the very first combat damage that they've dealt. It's just all it's just all direct damage. That's why this burn deck is so good. Looks like we're dead. They dealt one damage attacking, one. I can't have lethal without playing Vi, can I? Doesn't look like it. One girl wrecking crew. I just have to hope that these are just creatures. In hand. The party has arrived. 
Good sign. Was this not leveled up? I thought I just leveled up Vi with that block a little bit ago. What happened? What? That's not leveled up? We can see Leeson's level up animation. We can do that. No. Oh, I shouldn't have played Vi. I should. I should have just drawn my two cards first, and I would have drawn the deny, and then I would have definitely held up that deny instead of playing Vi. But, yeah, what are you going to do? I mean, they dealt one damage from attacking. And just all burn spells. I'm dead. Yes, I do think Maokai is good. Yes, I do. That burn aggro deck is very lethal. Lethal deck right there. They didn't even have Boom Crew Rookie. Yeah, I should just be drawn two to start with, because maybe I would even draw the life gain um, burst spell speed, and, and you know maybe that would have helped me. But oh, playing against the burn deck again. Yeah, the Lucian Draven deck. Um, to find that, you can go here. We haven't played it yet. It's okay. Yeah, see, so, like you can see, like my schedules are always on the left hand side, and um, I have not played the the Lucian Draven aggro yet. We're we're on our way down. We're that's that's the deck that we're gonna play next. But yeah, if you want to see the list. That's where you can find the list there um, on Mobile Addicts. I'll do better this time. Oh. Um, okay, the deck that you're thinking of is uh, this deck right here. There you go, Gary. I wish I had one more spell that cost three or less mana that I could play. Playing Eye of the Dragon is the high upside play. Um, you know, the upside of being able to get a couple Dragolines out if we draw a cheap spell. We didn't, but four power, that could be good to Spirit's Refuge. Um... Play the protection. No if 
I don't play protection, I could have both of these cards available. Boom crew from attacking. Hands up the merch. Stand firm. Man, I don't want to block with the eye of the dragon. We're about to play a draggling. Like we're gonna get the free draggling next turn. Just the thing to do, but I don't want to. It is the thing to do. Is that all? Yeah, I know we gained like gained two life back with that two on life steal, but that's still just the play. Looking, looking just fine right now. Explosives pride. The order rewards its faith. Our in intrepid mariner is enticing. We could give Vi. Um, elusive to do 10 damage to them. That does sound pretty. Yeah, that sounds pretty enticing. You cannot escape. Don't test me. Honestly, maybe that means I need to um, and That means I, I need to not block with uh, uh, two two elusive All right burst what do we get? We get a concession. So we're still at 10. We're still looking pretty good. All right, that's the knockout. Came back and got our revenge against Burn. So we are we are so far two and one against Burn. The life steal burst speed card has looked pretty good. And now we're facing Weimerdinger. The last two days, but in particular, especially today, there's just not really mid range running around right now. It hasn't seemed like it. Like, we're playing against all burn and control. And that's not great for a best of one. Like, you need to have mid range be viable. But I'm just I'm just saying, like, that's 
you don't want to have like as just a, a game designer you don't want to only act on the end edges of the spectrum so i hope that's i hope that's not like a a foreshadowing trend for the future of the metagame is what i'm trying to say I am the dragon. The order rewards its faithful. We're paying full cost over here. Paying full cost. Yeah, we haven't yeah, haven't been facing the Demacia decks the last couple days very much. Um, we'll see. That's again something about kind of beginning days. It's it's easy to play. A, like it's easy to build aggro and control decks. Eh, mid range isn't too bad though either. Either I guess I don't know the best point. Yuck. Clear your heart. Let your instinct speak. Within my grasp. Because of the new unyielding spirit, Jackson. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think mid range is good. I think there's a lot of good options for mid range. It's just, uh, I was just kind of, I was more pointing out that we're facing a whole bunch of aggro and control, and not mid range today. They're not good six mana spells for us to get. No, yeah, you're you're right, extension. You're you're right. That is that is absolutely correct. My saying wasn't really like my sentence wasn't really was I was kinda of tailing off and not really going anywhere there. What seems to be the problem? This only does followers. This only does followers. Neither of these cards deal with champions whatsoever. So neither of them deal with, with uh, Heimerdinger. So my only way of stopping Heimerdinger is to challenge the Heimerdinger. I kind of feel like it may be good to play Scales of the Dragon pre-combat. It's kind of weird, because I feel like they're going to have just, like, tons and tons of spells, and so, like, actually playing stuff pre-combat may not punish us that much. But with that being said, as far as having spells go, um, you know, Heimerdinger can make turrets. They could just play a turret. You know, they, they play a spell, then play a turret uh, pre-combat. So. so we'll attack in. Is Heimerdinger a Yordle? Ugh. Heimerdinger a Yordle?
I can do that all day. You want me to play more Vault Breakers? Go ahead. Play more Twin Disciplines. We can we can play that game all day. That does give them another floor be gone if I let this resolve. Puts me down to nine. Unforeseen outcome. No, we're not. Beware the dragon spirit. Yeah, absolutely. Lucian Thresh deck is uh, viable. Um, basically, like like this deck, like right here. Uh, just replace Callisto with Thresh. You can do that for sure. The dark can I go down to seven? Man, if they have like deny for my Shadow Flare, I'm dead. Maybe it's just safer to play Shadow Assassin instead of try to Shadow Flare and Ephemeral all these. So they cast Deny. I'm like dead. So Fizz is also a Yordle, not a traditional Yordle. Yordles are traditionally furry like Teemo and Heimerdinger, but has the same general body shape. Hmm. He's like a, a water Yordle, ocean Yordle. Bilgewater Yordle. Puppy wants to jump up here. Ugh. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. The dragon waits. Wish I had better spells than these six mana things that are just a waste. don't have better things besides the six mana things that are just a waste. A 
Yordle puppy. You're a Yordle puppy. So two options. Option A, just go challenge, challenge, and kill the two, three ones. That's option A. Option B would be um, have have the Vice trade, kill a three, one, and then I get to attack with all these things also. They'd have one, three, one down. Um, they probably have ch trade Shadow Assassins and take seven damage and keep a three, one. I think I like this option better. Spells are just so bad. Yeah, just not like in the chair. Like Harvey doesn't fit in the chair. He's too big. That's just one for one removal. We can deal with that. So we're going to have 11 mana. Why don't I have cheap spells? <laughs> Maybe we do need Chump Lump. Maybe we do need Chump Lump. have no spells to play unless I like cast this deny 
Gosh, I, I, I guess, oh, this thing doesn't just challenge. I have to cast something to give this thing challenger. I have nothing to play. I mean, I, I don't want to spend five mana on do this dragon protection, because then I don't have deny available. This is real awkward. We basically spent three mana to discard a card with these Flash of Brilliance. That's all they were, it's just three mana to discard a card. They these cards do absolutely nothing. Like for for the mana cost, like there's no way I'm playing either one. Alright, well at least they cast something, so I got to deny. So we can have Lee Sin get Challenger. That's good news. Ying Yue, you've been in my thoughts. Oh Lee, you always did think too much. Lee has told me about you. Only the bad parts are true. Here's the fun part! Eat this! I've been waiting for this. I have to kill their leveled up Vi, because otherwise it'll do 5 damage to me. This is them going down to 2, if they take all this. Okay, that, that they only gain 1 life, but that thing stays alive. The whole that thing stays alive is the problem. Need to draw Will of Ionia. Bounce this. I will play my part. Eat this. Trouble coming at ya. Conflict is all in the mind. I'll see this through. Okay. I've gained three life. That's still uh, that's me going to one. I will not hold. Right? I go to one. One's not zero. No. I must trade more. All right, so basically, you know, kind of playing through that game, Flash of Brilliance was, you know, just a dead card. Like, that didn't... That card didn't help at all. Scales of the Dragon didn't look so good that last game. Um, because it's just, it just kind of clunky to play. But to be honest, if Scales of the Dragon was, um, uh, you know, if it was Chump Womp, it would have been pretty clunky to play anyway, because we would have had to spend four mana to cast it out of our hand. But it would have been nice. Like, I would have rather had, um, for that game, I would have rather had the... Uh, the puff cap cards instead of the dragon's protection. So I don't know, maybe that, that like these two cards I think could maybe be better things, maybe potentially flash of brilliance. It just has a lot of, a lot of variance to it. Um, and the problem is there's a lot of cards that aren't very good to hit. So if you look at, so we create a random spell that costs six plus mana in hand. So our options are Dawn and Dusk, meh. Hex, like the Transmogulator, bad. Shadow Flare, bad. Unlicensed Innovation, pretty bad. Ritual of Renewal, pretty bad. Um, Stand United, meh. You know, bad, but potentially okay. Dragon's Rage, bad. True Shot Barrage, 
you know, has potential. Um, it could also be, be pretty bad. And progress day, which is just fine. Progress day is good. But super expensive. And that's it. Honestly, I don't want those cards. Like I don't I don't want these cards in my deck. So honestly, I like I just don't think that Flash of Brilliance should be in here. It's like it's nice that it's it's a free spell to play, so that like that's really nice for a lot of things. But honestly, I don't want I just don't want these cards. Um so yeah, I, I honestly think that we should should replace those. And and I would probably uh play more retreats. I think retreat is an underrated card. More ways to get two to you know be able to play two spells. Um which you know that's that's like the whole kind of like point of the deck. Like if we take out Flash of Brilliance, um maybe a key guardian. I know yeah, key guardian it, key guardian's definitely a combo with Claws of the Dragon if you can have um you know, like your turn two play like or like turn three, I guess, it would be like you have four mana and you can play like something and also key guardian a claws of the dragon and then it comes down for free and then you have like a, a blocker with barrier that your opponent didn't know about. That's cute, but I don't know if you really need to play that many. Um Thermogenic Beam's also good. You know, just like some burn spells would be nice. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I do like retreat. I would want to play like a second retreat. Um, wouldn't mind having more removal. We have one Will of Ionia. Will of Ionia like looked pretty good. I probably want like a second Will of Ionia and a retreat and then is there maybe a second Thermogenic Beam. We only have two Mystic Shots, maybe a third Mystic Shot. Do, do, do. Get that Get Excited in here. Some options. I, I don't really like Static Shock. I think Static Shock is like the one damage isn't very good in this in this meta game. I don't I don't really like Static Shock. Um, probably a Thermogenic Beam. I think we want that. I think we want to be yeah Thermogenic Beam because you can also throw away Thermogenic Beam for zero mana to be able to be your second spell. And if we're thinking about it, that's all we were doing with the um, with the Flash of Brill Brilliance, all we were doing was just throwing it away. So there we go. Second Will of Ionia. Um, second Thermogenic Beam. And uh, second Retreat. I think those would be better than the Flash of Brilliance. <laughs> Alright, cool. So there's the Le the Levi Control deck. I'll update the deck list command also to uh, reflect those changes. But... Um, you know, pretty good. I think basically just Vi is good. Lee Sin, eh, meh. Vi is good, and then like like all these spells are good. But is Lee Sin actually better than Karma? Eh, kind of have a tough time convince me of that. But this deck is like a little bit more aggressive, least slanted for a control deck, and you know Lee Sin can can help you do things, but um, you know is. I feel like I'll, yesterday we played, or I guess two days ago, two days ago we played um, Vi plus Heimerdinger. I called it Vimerdinger Control. I liked that better. It's very, it was very similar to this. A lot of the same cards um, and same kind of stuff, but, but you know, having Heimerdinger instead of Vi, and that definitely felt more powerful. Heimerdinger feels like a lot better card than Lee Sin. So um, as far as, as far as like this kind of deck, like, like a, a control deck, but a control deck where you get to do a lot of attacking. Um, I would recommend Vimerdinger more than Levi. All right, uh, but y'all watch it on YouTube. Hit that like button over there, and of course, leave those comments. Like, let me know what are you doing with like Lee Syndex because I 
you know, I need to start playing some more Lee Sin. So if you got any cool Lee Sin decks, feel free to let me know there um, on YouTube in the comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Levi Control, and I'll see you for the next video.